with lot of efforts hard work consistency students are able to control gs when it comes to csat a lot of prospective candidates they struggle to qualify in the csat paper what is the reason i see a randomized approach even prospective candidates they are having a randomized approach for doing csat what we need is a structural approach we need a proper strategy to crack the csat comfortably friends i have already made strategy videos uh, with respect to current affairs and current affairs linked static areas right so when you take the last 5 years trend you see roughly 40 questions coming from static syllabus uh, 20 to 25 questions coming from current affairs 35 to 40 questions coming from an x area what is it x area which is nothing but current affairs linked static area current affairs based static area this regular current affairs plus current affairs based static area is a game changer okay how to approach that part a self preparation strategy video i have made already i will give the link in the description you can watch it however if you are looking for some kind of support for this current affairs and current affairs based static if you are looking for some support i have a course for you 75 cross 75 right it will be a 75 day program so it will be i'll be giving you a video i'll be giving you a revision material i'll be giving you a test every day so to know more about this program you can again click the link given in the description i will give you a, a description video i will give you the brochure of this program if you are interested you can go through so now coming to this uh, strategy for uh, csat as i said we need a, a we need a structural approach not randomized approach we need a proper strategy right so we will try to understand first what is being asked in csat so these are the three areas reading comprehension logical reasoning aptitude these three areas are being tested before 2018 if you look at the trend before 2018 if you look at the trend from reading comprehension you will be getting anywhere between 26 to 27 questions in logical reasoning also it is going to be 26 to 27 questions aptitude again 26 to 27 questions right 80 questions will be asked this is the range but however post 2018 with reading comprehension there is no much change 26 27 sometimes it goes up to 30 also but logical reasoning the numbers are reduced right between 11 to 18 questions are being asked in logical reasoning the weightage for aptitude has significantly it increased in 2023 almost 43 questions came from aptitude so the weightage for logical reasoning is coming down the weightage for aptitude is increasing the weightage for comprehension is almost the constant right i will give you more detailed analysis in the coming slides so reading comprehension as i said in the last 5 years the least is 25 the highest is 30 so the range is between 25 to 30 logical reasoning the least is 11 the maximum is 18 the range is between 11 to 18 right aptitude see the least is 32 the highest is 45 so it is in this range aptitude questions are being asked so the weightage for aptitude is higher in the last 5 years a lot of students in my personal experience lot of students i hope you will also agree with me they are finding it difficult to manage this aptitude reading comprehension and logical reasoning they are finding it relatively okay to manage when it comes to aptitude i see people having difficulty there are another set of students they are fine with logical reasoning and aptitude but when it comes to reading comprehension they are finding it difficult to manage so largely it will be these two set of students right so let me assume that many fall under this category they are okay with reading comprehension and logical reasoning when it comes to aptitude i am assuming that they are finding some difficulty okay what term may be your strength and weakness this analysis will give you a solution at the end of the day friends how many questions you have to attend in csat out of 80 questions 
you need not attend 80 not required you target 55 questions don't target 80 questions out of 80 questions you target only 55 so you will have more time to solve a question now so your plan is to target only 55 questions okay i'm giving you an idea to clear c set there is no use in scoring very high marks in c set we have to comfortably clear not in the border we have to comfortably clear so if you attend 55 questions even if you make 15 mistakes even if you make 15 mistakes comfortably you will clear what we need is 27 net correct questions you attend 55 questions comfortably and even if you do 15 mistakes you will still clear comfortably i'm telling you in worst case even if you do 20 mistakes you will still clear so you have to attend 55 questions keep that in mind now how we are going to distribute that 55 questions how we are going to distribute so we notice that reading comprehension almost 25 questions are coming when it comes to logical reasoning let's take an average let's take an average of 15 questions let's take an average of 15 questions or we'll take 10 only okay we'll take 15 questions so now we will take uh, mathematics the aptitude part let's take 40 questions this is how the questions are distributed now depending upon the strength you can choose but what i would suggest is in this 25 try to attend 20 questions in this 15 try to attend 10 questions or it depends it depends you can attend even 15 questions so in this 40 you try to attend 25 questions right so 20 plus 10 plus 25 it is going to be 55 if you are lucky if you are getting more logical reasoning questions you go for more logical reasoning you can compromise on the aptitude but here i am telling you you aim for 20 english questions 10 logical reasonings 25 aptitude you have to attend at least 25 aptitude or else it becomes challenging or else it becomes really challenging so this is the 55 which we are going to attend now which area which chapter we have to focus which chapter we have to focus that we will try to decode so aptitude between 2019 to 23 the last five years i have also taken the before areas as well but between 19 to 23 particularly you get questions from these areas but consistently in the last five years you get questions from these shaded areas so from this part consistently you get questions <coughs> the last five years on an average 17 questions are coming from number series from average based questions two questions on an average all these are average questions percentage four profit and loss one <coughs> right ratio proportion two allegation mixture one permutation combination five time and work one speed distance hcf hcm lcm um, age based uh, mensuration so on an average you get these questions on an average you get these number of questions you don't target everything don't target everything let's have a strategy here see one thing we are able to understand these number systems you cannot you cannot refuse to learn you have to learn number system because 17 questions are coming on an average from number system put lot of efforts in number system right one now these i have shaded in blue because all this average percentage profit and loss ratio proportion allegation and mixture all these questions you can manage by studying one chapter strongly called as percentage if you are very good in percentage with the percentages concept only you can attend averages profit and loss ratio proportion allegation mixture so percentage is a base so you read one chapter strongly you can manage five chapters so i would suggest you to go through these areas put together so 17 questions here you can manage here 17 so here 2 4 right 1 2 1 you add everything along with that i would suggest you to take up permutation and combination as well so how many questions in total just seven chapters you can manage so 17 20 24 uh, 26 27 
32 questions you can manage. 32 questions you can manage with these 7 chapters. In this number system, all together a different chapter. Permutation combination, all together a different chapter. The remaining 5 chapters are related only. So my suggestion, my suggestion is you can take up the first 7 chapters which I have mentioned. From each chapter, from each chapter you do at least 50 questions. From each chapter you do 50 questions, 350 questions is what you have to do. 50 questions per chapter you solve. You will master that chapter. Right? Minimum 350 I want you to do. Sir, you want to change the combinations, you change accordingly. This is my favorite combination. Right? If I am going to prepare for CZ, this will be my strategy. You can have your own strategy. Right? Now, like this, we will try to understand logical reasoning as well. So These are the areas from which consistently we are getting questions in the last 5 years. And you will notice that from every area you get at least one question. So you have no other choice. All these 9 chapters you have to prepare. Logical reasonings are low hanging fruit. There is no formula. There is no formula involved. Okay. See, if you are given 15 minutes time to solve one logical reasoning, you will solve it. The problem is in the exam hall, you have to solve it in a, uh, like say one and a half minutes, two minutes you have to solve. That is the challenge here. Okay. So that is the challenge. So you will be given at around two minutes per question. So what you need is a practice. So these nine chapters, for each chapter, at least 20 questions you solve, you can manage. So nine chapters into 20 questions, it is going to be 180 questions. There I said seven chapters into 50 questions for max, that is going to be 350 questions. Right? So it is finally it is going to be 530 questions. It is 530 questions. That is what you are going to solve. Next 50 to 60 days. We have 90 plus days. We have 90 plus days. Next 50 to 60 days. Every day. Every day. Right? You solve around 10 questions. Around 10 questions you solve. Every day. Right? Uh, 6 questions you solve from aptitude. 3 to 4 questions you solve from logical reasoning. Do this for next 50 days. How much time it will take? Right? You can do it. Comfortably you can sail through. Don't focus on every chapter. First do this. Maybe after doing this when you have more time you can think about other chapters as well. But first we have to ensure that we are clearing this. Sir, so what about reading comprehension? First let us analyze certain questions in reading comprehension then we will come to a conclusion. In reading comprehension we broadly, broadly, broadly I am dividing into three categories. You can divide into two categories also. But I am dividing into three categories. What are those three categories? Look at the first category. From the passage only you can answer. Right? With respect to the above passage, the questions will be like that. Main idea of the passage. With reference to the passage. Which one of the following implied by the passage? So you read the passage, you will be in a position to answer. According to the passage. The passage suggests according to the author according to author is nothing but the passage only so one type of questions is you read the passage you will be in a position to answer the question the next type the next type is you have to extend the passage on assumptions look at this which one of the following best reflects the message of the author so understand the passage understand the message of the passage then you have to choose which one reflects the idea of the passage so it is not just directly from the passage rather it is based on your understanding you read the passage understand the passage from which you are going to answer best reflects the crux of the passage author's assumption all these i am telling you are assumption styles you read the passage i get the understanding Based on the understanding, you are going to choose the answer. This is going to be slightly tricky. The first category is from the passage only questions are asked. The second category is you understand the message of the passage. Based on that, you are going to choose the answer. 
So best reflects the practical rational solution, logical inference, logical and rational assumption. So these are extension. Basically, you are trying to extend the passage and you are going to find the answer. Right? The next category is next category is you will not find a passage. You will not find a lengthy passage. You will have, let's say, two, three lines. Uh, uh, you will find some two, three line passages. It's a, it's a small paragraph. I would say a small paragraph. Right? It will be two, three lines. Based on the above uh, um, uh, the para, you have to choose an answer. Right? Which of the following? This will be one, one question, one passage, I mean one question passage. Previously what we saw is there will be a bigger passage followed by three, four questions will be there. But here one small passage, one question, small passage, one question. That is another category. So here you will find which of the following is the most logical corollary up or to the above passage. So corollary here means what is the most logical consequence, logical extension of that passage. What will happen next? Right? That is the corollary. Which one of the following views corroborates the above statement? Corroborates means, so which one of the following acts like an evidence? Which one of the following supports the above state, above, above that small passage? Okay. Then the above statement argues for, here see, a statement means they are giving a very small passage. It will be looking like a two, three liner statement. For that, there will be a following question. Either you are, they are going to ask that which of the below statement argues for the above passage or which of the below statement acts like an evidence or supports the above small statement or which of the following are the logical extension, logical extension of the above passage. That passage will not be a passage, it will be like a lengthy sentence only. Okay, so there are three categories of reading comprehension that we have noted. So based on that, I have given you, I have given you nine areas. I mean, these are the three, these are the three broader categories. So first one I said from the passage, second one is you have to assume, third one is they will give you a lengthy sentence, maybe two, three line sentence, the small paragraph from which you have to choose an extension of that or some supporting evidence or which one is or which one of the statement give below given below is arguing for the above statement such category questions right now how to approach so these are the broader areas friends these are the broader areas how to approach so what i would suggest is see from 2015 till 2023 only from 2015 till 2023 only we have hundreds of passages from 15 to 23 only we have hundreds of passages right that is the biggest source for learning reading comprehension first you solve the hundreds of passages given between these years apart from that i will give you one suggestion every day read one editorial you yourself ask what is the crux of this editorial? What is the logical assumption of this editorial? Right? So on these lines, you read, maybe if you are not able to read one full editorial, read two passages. And think on these lines, what is the inference? What is the assumption? What is the author's view? Right? You train your mind. Right? So what you have to do? We have 90 plus days. What you have to do? I will tell you, next 50 days, Next 50 days is going to be crucial, not just for your CSAT preparation, but also for your GS preparation. For CSAT, you spent roughly 2 hours. Ideally, between 2.30 to 4.30, you spend for CSAT. Every day, 2.30 to 4.30, you spend for CSAT. Your brain automatically will get tuned. On the exam day also, your brain will be so active between this time. Every day have a target. I will solve six aptitude questions. I will solve minimum three logical reasoning questions. I will solve minimum four passages. Sir, from where to get this four passage? Previous year questions is enough. Apart from that, you can, you know, take some editorial passages and we can start thinking on these lines mentioned here. That will give you a good training. Okay, do this. 
do this for next 50 days sir after that what to do for the 40 days sir what to do for the 40 days that 40 days you can take test every day also you can take test based on your weakness in CSAT based on your weakness in CSAT if you are relatively stronger you can spend lesser amount of time if you think you are very much weak in CSAT then the last 40 days I would suggest you at least to take 20 to 25 CSAT mock test that 20 to 25 CSAT mock test becomes very important similarly the next 50 days is very crucial for your GS we have 90 days the next 50 days is very crucial for GS and CSAT in this 50 days I would suggest you to finish at least one revision the main five subjects the main five subjects right the modern history polity geography economy environment right that you can do that you can do comfortably you can do next 50 days is very crucial then the last 40 days it should be fully test morning 9 30 to 11 9 to 11 30 right you take gs test 2 30 to 4 30 right you take csat test every alternative days you can take test every day also you can take test the next 50 if you are doing it properly the last 40 days is going to be very easy for you comfortably you can clear both gs as well as csat right see in the description i am giving you uh, the material whatever analysis i have done in detail i will give you that material for you right i will also give you i will also give you references that is logical reasoning max for every chapter for example logical reasoning alphabetical and alpha alphanumeric series i will give you a model question right for blood relations i will give you a model question coding and decoding i'll give you a model question like that model questions will be given for every topic of mathematics part as well as logical reasoning part part for your reference you can download this entire material by clicking the link given in the description right i hope uh, this analysis is going to add value in your preparation don't worry we have good amount of time to clear prelims right so believe in you give your everything sir i'm a working professional sir i cannot spend more time in a day don't carry that attitude right whatever time you have you have only three hours four hours only five hours a day use it properly for others i would suggest it's high time that you are working for at least 12 hours a day right it's not that 12 hours continuously you have to prepare you can take breaks you have to solve many questions have a strategical approach right any doubt in your preparation you can always reach me you can come and meet me in the academy or you can reach me uh, to the number which i have given in the description in the brochure you will have the number you can reach me so i hope this adds more value to your uh, success so let me see you in another video. Till then, bye, take care.